All right, I'm really quickly going to show you how to create and upload a favicon. Uh, this process will work best on Mac OS, but there are lots of ways to do it on a PC too. The first thing you need to do to get started is to have an image that you want to use as your favicon. Uh, I've just uh, done a little uh, screen grab off of, uh, off of our course site. First thing you need to do is to make this image square. So you go up here, grab the rectangle, this, this is preview by the way, it's a, an app that comes with your Mac, it's just what, what opens an image when you open it. Um, I grab re rectangular selection, I select sort of a square that's pretty tight around our, uh, our little image there. Now you'll notice it's not really quite square, I'm going to bring it in a little closer. I really want, oh, I really want that uh, image to take up most of the pixels in the favicon. So I'm just going to drag it in, and then if you see, you see that little pixel counter in the bottom. It's 220 on one side. I want to make it 220 on the other. So we'll bring it in another pixel here. There it is, two, oh, 219, 220 by 220, and it's pretty close. Uh, now we're just going to hit Command C or Edit uh, Copy and then File New from Clipboard and that'll pull up, boom, just a little square version of the crop we just did. I'm going to go ahead and close the original. Now that you've got this square version, you need to go up to, uh, let's see here, Tools, Adjust Size. Now that little lock means when you adjust one of these, the other is going to go with it. And since it's already a square and we're not going to get into distortion, I want to enter 32. That's 32 pixels wide by 32 pixels high. You're going to hit OK. Boom. There's your 32 by 32 uh, favicon. Now you might notice at this point that the image you chose that looked really awesome doesn't quite look so awesome at this scale. You know, you can't really read the words. You, you know, you can't see the green around the edge and you want to go for something that's you know, a little bit easier to see. That's fine. I'm just going to go with this because I'm not actually going to use it in the end. Go up here to File, hit Save. Just save it as Untitled, uh, let's do a JPEG. Untitled JPEG on the desktop. Hit Save. Okay, and there's our Untitled JPEG. So again, I'm going to close out a preview. I'm going to hit Quit. I'm going to go over here to our Untitled JPEG, and then in Mac OS, there's a nice feature for renaming a file. You just sort of click and hold, and then release, and you get to edit the file name. Now in this case, I'm going to delete the whole thing, including the .jpeg, which is called the file extension, and I'm going to rename it to favicon.ico. Now .ico means I've added a different file extension. It's now an ICO file instead of a JPEG file, which is sort of the computer's way of knowing what kind of file it is and what it's supposed to do with it. Then I'm going to hit enter and it's going to throw this alert that says, do you want to keep the JPEG or do you want to use .ico? I want to use .ico. So you hit that, boom, all of a sudden you've got favicon.ico, which is exactly what file the web browser looks for when it tries to find the favicon. The last step is going to be to open up Cyberduck. Mine was already open, that's why it happened so quickly. Go to your, your website. So here's mine, I'm going to double click on it. And then you want to make sure you go to the top level folder, which is the one that has no, nothing after the forward slash. Go to that. All you do then, and I'm not actually going to do it, is you just drag your file into this area. Make sure that little plus shows up next to the icon and just drop it. Make sure that you don't accidentally drop it inside of one of these folders. You want it to be in this top level file area. So just somewhere in here, just drop the file. It'll upload. You'll get a little upload dialog over in this area. And you'll say overwrite the file because it'll ask you if you want to replace the existing one because there will already be one in there. See? And that's it. Next time you open up your browser and you hit refresh, you will see a new favicon in your tab.